As we know, with the increase in the online transaction and sharing of data and information on the net, create the possibility of getting our data targeted by cyber criminals who have malicious intent. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Now, everyone is aware how to use an email as we share large amount of personal and professional information through it. And now we think, how exactly can an email harm us? Well, that's what today we are going to discuss about. The topic for today's video is email header analysis. Through this video, we'll be able to analyze the mails that we receive on a regular basis. Let's take a look at an example of this email. What does everyone think about this mail? Whether this is a spam email or a non-spam email? Well, the answer of this question is, it's a spam email. And why is it so? It's a content that we are going to discuss further in the video. Now, let's take a look at the agenda for today. In this video, we'll be learning about what is an email. To begin with, we'll start briefly knowing what exactly an email is. Then we'll take a look how exactly an email transfers from one point, that is the center point, to the receiver point. Then we'll also look at different key parts that are involved in an email and also what risks are involved in an email attack. And then we'll come to the content that is the most important in this video, how to analyze an email. Then we'll see different parts of an email header and know the importance of email header analysis. And lastly, we'll see a demo, how do we do the email header analysis. Let's begin. For the first topic, we'll be knowing what exactly is an email. Let's start. An email is a way of sending and receiving information through messages which travel to different online channels, which can not only contain text messages but also photos and video data, which passes through different protocols and servers to reach the receiver mailbox. Now that we have an idea what exactly is an email, let's take a look at different servers or different online channels that an email goes through. To begin with, the sender will write a message that is done through email client known as Apple Mail or Gmail and send it through what is known as MTA Mail Transfer Agent. This step is done through maintaining different types of SMTP protocols. The next step involves the transfer of message in between different mail servers which is done through the different SMTP protocols. By this step, a mail is already in the recipient mail server that is known as the MTA. All these steps are done over the internet where the mail delivery agent also checks whether the given email is spam or non-spam which is done under way SPF that is known as the sender policy framework. If the check fails then the given email is termed as spam. If not then the email continues on its way for the receiver's mailbox can be accessed by the receiver and see the content of the mail. Now that we have an idea how the mail get transferred over different channels and servers, let's take a look what makes up an email. For the first one we have the email address which is one of the most important part in an email. Email address is a unique address that is used for the delivery of messages. Unless an email address is correct, the message that we transfer will not reach its destination. Then we have a part known as the body section. This part contains the actual data that has to be transferred over the net. To understand better, we all have come across different types of spam email during regular times. We often receive different kinds of marketing spam or different kinds of institution spam that explain us for different types of offers that we can receive if we click on different kind of links or visit different kinds of websites. This is what is known as spam which is nothing but unwanted mail or junk mail. Then we have some individuals which use emails for scamming people. They scam people of their personal information or professional data where they'll ask you to enter your bank details or different login details to complete a transaction to different investment plans. 
Last but the most dangerous risk involved through email attacks is done by professional hackers. They send hidden viruses or different spyware programs in an email that are nearly impossible to detect during the security protocols. When we open these emails, the virus program gets installed into the system and harms it. Now that we have an idea about different kinds of email and the risk involved, let's take a look how to analyze an email. For the first step, we have to access an email to see the email header part. Then we have to click on the more section that is on the rightmost top corner of the email. From there, we'll click on the show original option from the list. Now we can access the email header section for an email which will be used for the analysis further in the video. Now we will see what different parts are involved during the analysis of an email. Firstly we have what different basic parts comprises of an email header in which we will also see different fields which is return path, DKIM signatures, message id, MIME version field, received field and the spam status field. Let's take a look at them one by one. For first one, we'll have different basic fields that forms an email header, in which we have the form field, which shows from where we got the email, that is the sender's email and what the sender name is. Then we have what is known as the date and time field, which provides the date and timestamp of the email received. Then we have two part that depicts where the system will send the email to that is the receiver's email. Then lastly we have the subject field which shows what is the topic that is related to the email. Now we will understand what different fields are important during the analysis of an email. During the analysis the first field that we have to see is the return path which indicates if the email is bounced how will it be taken care of that is this address is different from the sender's address and is specifically for collecting and processing bounced emails. Then we have is DKIM signature. This field shows what different kinds of authentication is required to identify an email, whether the email that has been sent to us by the sender is the authenticated version or it has been tempered with. Then we have a field that is known as message ID, which is generated by the first MTA and also referred to as MSA, Mail Submission Agent, which is a unique combination of letters and numbers that identify the email. And it is also different for each email. That is, no mail can have the similar kind of a message ID. If such case arises, there definitely is a problem with an email. Then we have what is known as the MIME version which is an indication of the type of media or the content that has been given in the body section of the mail. It also provides a conversion standard for media into text format to be attached in an email as email can consist of only text data. Then we have the receive field which shows email has reached its destination and the email header is arranged in the reverse order where the top shows the last server which the mail went through and the bottom the initial server. Then we have the XSpam status which indicates the spam scope and the threat level of an email and if the generated value crosses the maximum output the email will be classified as spam. Now that we are clear about different fields that are involved in an email header let's see why is it important to have an analysis of an email header. The importance of email header analysis involves protection against spam and phishing attacks due to several fields that help us identify whether the given email is spam or not and authentication or not. Then what we have is the identification of the sender or receiver information. They allows us to authenticate whether the receiver is the receiver or the sender's address matches the sender's address. Then lastly we have what the tracking of an email. We can take a look what different servers or online channels our mail went through. If there is tampered in different types of channels or server in between then definitely we can see there is a problem with an email. Now 
To understand what difference between a spam email and normal email is, let's take a look at two different fields. The first field that we have is SPF, Sender Policy Framework. This field allows us to identify how the spam email is identified. This is the difference. We can see that in the normal mail, we'll have a sign which depicts in front of all that shows that this is a normal mail. And in front of the spam email, we have a hyphen sign which indicates this is a spam mail. The second field that allows us to identify spam and normal email is DKIM. They identify emails through the use of different identification keys. If the keys matches for a normal email and the sender email, then that is authenticated mail. If it does not, it is termed as spam mail. Now that we are clear about different fields and what email is and of what importance do email header analysis play, let's take a look at the demo for the same. To understand the analyzing of an email header better, let's take a look at the demo. In this demo, we'll take a look at different fields that are used for the analyzing of an email. To begin with, we'll take a look at an example email. On the right top corner, we'll see the more option from which we'll choose the show original option. After that, in a new window, we'll be opened with the email header part. In this, we see the message ID field that we discussed earlier in the video that shows a unique form of data of numeric and alphabetical order to identify an email or authenticate it. Then we have created a that contains the timing and the date part of the email. SPF in short is given as pass that means the email that we receive is somewhat safe. DKIM signatures is used for the authentication of the email. After this, going below, we'll take a look at different fields that we discussed. Over here, we have the return path, the received section, the date section, to from field, and subject field. In this format, we can't exactly identify what different email headers are present in the raw form. To analyze this, we'll take a look at different tools that are available on the net. To do this, we'll choose the option copy to clipboard and open a new window and search for a email header analysis tool, which is named as MX Analyzer, which is a popular email header analysis tool. Choosing this tool, we'll go for the analyze header part and paste the email raw form that we copied and choose the option analyze header. And this is how the analyzed version would look like. To understand better what exactly the spam is, let's take a look. Through this, we know that a spam mail is not a problem. The problem lies with the DKIM authentication. As we already discussed in the video, DKIM authentication is required to know whether our email was stopped in between during the transmission of different servers. And on to the next form, we have headers. Deliver to header the return path header, DKIM signature header, and basic forms that require for the identification of an email, date to from subject message ID that we already discussed in the video earlier. Now that we know how to analyze an email, we can prevent the email spam, email phishing, or different kinds of email attacks that are utilized by the hackers or cyber criminals to steal our data and harm our systems. Now that we have an idea about how to analyze an email, let's take a look at an email that was termed as spam by the mail server. Following the steps we did earlier, choose the show original option 
and we'll have a new window with the email header part. Copying the clipboard, going for a new window and searching for the Amex Analyzer tool that will be used for the analyzing the spam mail. Analyze header option. Paste your email header in the raw form and analyze the header. In this we see the SPF alignment is not proper, which means there is a problem with the email. It might be interfered by a hacker or a cyber criminal during the transfer of the email through different servers. Let's take a look. We can see that there is a T sign before the all. That means as we already discussed in the video, it indicates there is a problem with the email specifically in the spam version. If the email was non-spam, then the sign that would have occurred over here should be a hyphen sign before the all. This is how we differentiate whether the security measures has been compromised for an email or not. With this, we have reached the end of the module. If you have any questions, you can ask them on the comment section. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.